The movie opens up with a little boy, Noel, Ben Chandra Das, peeking at a sweet shop where the owner is making varieties of sweets. At the same time, he hears a group of travelers singing a song. He immediately joins the group and starts singing alongside them at last after their short performances over the head of the travelers group asks Nobin to provide him with something just like the other people did, however, no bin has nothing to offer, hence he walks aside, grabs a lump of wet soil and makes a ball out of it. He then rushes to the leader and hands him the ball. Surprisingly, the leader becomes happy and blesses Nobin by saying he was born to feed people the scene then fast. Forwards by several years and Nobin is a fully grown man preparing food for a Family function at his uncle Knighton's house because Nobin's father died at an early age. He and his mother have been living with Nobin's uncle and his family. Nobody makes a unique dish during the family function and almost all of the guests like it. They approach Knighton and praise the chef who prepared the dish and also wish to meet and give him a tip. However, the cunning man introduces someone else as the chef and gives him Full credit for the food. This makes Nobin really angry, but he can do nothing but stare at his uncle without uttering a word after the function is over when Nobin confronts his uncle about why he did so nighty. Replies that he doesn't want his nephew to be recognized as a person who makes food for others. Hearing this, Nobin replies that he loves making food and is thinking of becoming a confectioner. But as soon as Nitten hears this, he makes it clear that no one in their family has ever become a confectioner and that it's a low profile job. He also mentions that if Nobin wants to do so, he and his mother should leave behind all the relationships they have with him and his family. This enrages Nobin and despite his mother trying to make him understand, he walks away from his uncle's house at least for some days. The following day after his mother's pledge, Nobin starts working in a sweet Shop owned by an arrogant owner, Kalida, Indra Nobin becomes very excited to work there alongside other confectioners. Mahesh and Hemant, sadly Kalidas does not let him get involved in making sweets and rather asks him to work as a helper and look after the customers during this time. Nobin closely looks at Hemant making a sweet dish and suggests he put raisins in it to increase its flavor. Hemant refuses to do so, but Mahesh supports him and urges Nobin to do Whatever experiments he wants afterward, while Nobin is looking after the shop, a beautiful girl, Kairudmani Devi, comes running to the shop and hides behind a wooden rack. Surprised, Nobin inquires what she's doing there, and Kerod replies that she's playing hide-and-seek with his brother. When Nobin asks her to get out of the shop, she identifies herself as a guest and urges Nobin to offer her the best sweet dish present there, excited Nobin provides her with the dishes one by one, but Kira doesn't seem to like any of them. Later we get to know that everything is just kids plan to enter the shop and have sweets for free after some time when Nobin steps out to keep an eye on Cairo's brother. She cleverly exits the shop and flees in the next scene. Kalidas arrives at the shop and gets to know that the girl ate almost 16 of his sweet dishes and didn't pay it. Penny for them, enraged, he threatens Nobin to find the girl and get the money from her, or else it will be deducted from his salary. Upset, Nobin walks out to search for Kyra and finds her playing with her friends, but as soon as she spots Nobin coming her way, she starts running and enters her house. Nobin also follows her inside and meets her mother. He then explains the entire ordeal to the woman and eventually retrieves a money from her delighted to have gotten the money nobin decides to return but as soon as he steps out of the house cairo pulls him aside she bites his hand takes her money back and complains about the sweets finally she agrees to pay nobody the money only if he makes a sweet dish as per her request she demands nobin to make a white and round dish that should melt as soon as she puts it in her mouth and gives it a name rose ogola eager to Experiment with his dish, Nobin agree with her request and walks away from their air. The following day, Nobin asks for some cottage cheese and sugar with Maheshan, starts preparing the dish as described. By Kiran, he tries to make a round ball with the cottage cheese, but as soon as he tries to fry the balls, they tear apart. 
into pieces while doing this. He wastes a lot of cheese and oil in the afternoon. Corridos enters the shop and scolds no bin for wasting such expensive item. No bin tries to defend himself, telling that he's trying to make a new dish, but Kalidas does not listen to him and slaps him afterward. Nobin can be seen at a big bungalow where the owner asks him to make a special sweet dish for her. Son-in-laws, Nobin agrees and delivers them a dish covered in mango pulp and having juice inside all of the house. Owner's son-in-laws like the dish and they praise Nobin. Unfortunately, Kalidos gets to know that Nobin charged less for the dish and accuses him of making a loss. Because of this, he fires Nobin from the job and also asks for the money that he lost. Uh, nobody's mother apologizes to Kalidas and somehow manages to return his money. However, his uncle Neaton gives him an ultimatum to leave the house in seven days without any objection. Nobin agreed to do so and with his mother he leaves the house. The house in the next scene, Nobin and his mother rent a small house and start living. That after Kalidas fired him, no one in. The market agrees to provide him with a job and he begins working as a garbage. Collector Nobin's mother feels ashamed of this and tells him that he should be a confectioner at any cost and should never divert from his dream. The following morning, Mahesh brings a businessman, Mr. Shandu, to meet Nobin. Shandu is greatly impressed by Nobin's ability to make new dishes and asks him if he would like to work for his partner. No, Ben happily accepts the request and Mahesh also decides to join him. Next, No, Ben and Mahesh can be seen working for Shandu at his shop, right? Then a customer arrives there, right? provides some money to Shandu in advance to make a unique sweet dish at his son's marriage ceremony. No, Ben and Mahesh have no idea about the order while Shandu takes the money and flees the shop. In the next scene, being a granddaughter of uh, confectioner Kairod receives a marriage proposal from Nobin's family at first. She gets angry, but when she hears Nobin's name, she instantly agrees. A few days later, the two get married and become happy to be together even on their first night after marriage. Nobin tries to make the dish requested him earlier, but fails when Nobin returns to the shop, he witnesses a large mass gathering around the same customer who provided some money in advance, accuses them of betraying him and not preparing the sweets on time, Nobin inquires with Mahesh and gets to know that Shandu has taken all the money and is out of contact. Contact Nobin then starts searching for him and finds Shandu at a bar. He informs him about the situation outside, but Shandu shows no concern about it. Instead, he mentions that he has spent the money on buying opium. Hearing this, Nobin cries in front of everyone as he has no way of making the sweets as per the customer's demands. Fortunately, this grabs the attention of the bar's owner, Malkajan, who gives him some money and wishes him good luck. Following this, Nobin returns to the shop along with Shandu and starts preparing the new dish. Right then, someone arrives to meet Nobin, so he leaves, but not before asking Shandu to look after the sweet boiling syrup. However, the latter accidentally spills some opium into the syrup. Shandu tries his best to take the opium out of the syrup, but fails afraid. He does not tell anything to his partners about the accident. The next day, Nobin makes sweets using the same syrup and distributes them at the marriage ceremony of one of his customers. customers to his bad luck, all the guests vomit blood because of the excessive amount of opium present in the sweets. As a result, Nobin is beaten up and his shop is also closed after the incident. Nobin stays inside his house, sad and sullen. Mahesh visits him at this time and asks him to start a new shop, seeing her husband feel defeated. Kirat also motivates him and gives Nobin her jewelry to get some money and start a new shop. After all the encouragement, Nobin finally opens his own confectionery shop just opposite Kalidas as a year passes by. But no bin shop fails to attract customers the whole day he keeps on trying to make Rose Ogla, but ruins it in every attempt, seeing Nobin less serious about the shop and the family drowning in debt. Kirad yells at him, calling him lazy, however. This only infuriates Nobin, who walks out 
of the shop and joins a pilgrimage group to sing at a foreigner's mansion. Surprisingly, the foreigner, Mr. Paolo, is impressed by Nobin's singing ability and offers him a sweet cake made by him. Ben likes the softness of the cake and inquires about the recipe Paolo shows him the entire recipe of making soft cottage cheese and seeing this Nobin decides to follow the same process to make Rose Ogilus later in the evening. Nobin returns home and apologizes to his mother and Kairad for running away. He then unites with Mahesh and begins following Paolo's process of making soft cottage cheese after making cheese. He successfully makes the Rose of Gola, surprising everyone to make Kairad taste the dish. He takes her to the place they met before and lets her take a bite as soon as she does so, Kiro smiles and assures that the dish contains all the qualities that she described before. Everyone in the family loves the rosy cola and the next day Nobin puts it out for sale at his shop, but to his bad luck, no customers show up after waiting for a certain amount of time. A father, son duo, stops at Nobin's shop, asking him to provide his thirsty son with water. However, instead of providing water, Nobin gives him some rosa colas and requests them to try it before drinking water. Fortunately, the son likes the rosa golas, compelling his father to taste one and buy all the rosa golas present in the shop. shop. After this, Nobin witnesses a surge in business and the people of the town start going crazy for his rosa golas. He then visits everyone who helped him in his difficult days and feeds them his Rose Agonos Nobine also teaches a lot of confectioners the recipe for making the special dish in the next scene. The cunning Kalidas invites a patent registrar, Amrit Lobanik, and asks him to patent the Rosa Golas by his name. However, the servant who brings the Rosa Golas to Amrit Lau mentions that Nobin taught him to make them hearing this. Amrit Lau walks away from there and instead approaches Kiro. He describes to uh, the idea of the patent suggests that she inform her husband about it. Sadly, when she tells Nobin, he instantly despises the idea, prompting an angry Kiro to leave him and head to her. Parents' house time passes by, and one day, nobody heads to his longtime nemesis, Kalidas, with some rose ogolos. The latter does not want to taste it, but when Nobin requests politely, he agrees. Surprisingly, Kalidas becomes emotional as he's taken aback by the perfect taste of the sweet, he apologizes to Nobin for whatever differences they had and also requests to learn the recipe of the dish. Being the good guy that he is, Nobin immediately agrees to the request in the following scene. A beggar, like man, approaches Nobin's shop and requests them to provide him with some food. Nobin happily welcomes the man inside and feeds him surprisingly. The man turns out to be Shandu, who fled after Nobin got beaten up for poisoning the sweets. Shandu finally confesses that he accidentally dropped opium in the sweet syrup and that he had no courage to tell nobody about it. Surprisingly, instead of being angry, Nobin forgives him and remembers the sweet dish he prepared. That day, he names the dish after Shandu's real name, Vaikunta. Gangly in the last scene, Nobin visits Kirod at her mother's house and takes the Vikuta bowed with him to woo her at first Kirod refuses to talk, but when she tastes the Vikunta board, she becomes happy and forgives Nobin the movie end, with Kirod asking her husband about the ingredients of Vakunta Bog and Nobin replying that it can only be made with love, love.